Yeah, it does seem like we're going to see FaZe really looking to battle for this A main and not giving away for free stars being deployed. Paint shells going forward. Baby Bay finding first blood, and they are following it up nicely on the face side of things. But big recovery there from Koala and Chase. Had bloomed mid-map, so mm -hmm. he's going to be tagged down to 40 health, and we'll have to consider, do you really want to push through this? Seems like he wants to, and as he does, Quinn will be there to find the easy kill. So yes, yeah, most going down the expected locations here, as well as putting down that Molotov inside market to stop that quick rotation in. Rock is getting flashed, able to find one on his way to the grave at least. Get it into, you know, a three on four, but Quinn going to go ahead and really kind of see this in those directions. Should be going their way any moment now. Looking pretty solid for it, but you know, here's the decent news for FaZe. You do at least early information play going through main. Baby J is a part of this and actually very forward. Flash will come through. Brian just runs right into danger. Does find one, and how about the shot from Win? Actually takes down one over the middle market. So now it is just down to Rock is trying to hold. Working with him will be Corey deep, but but can they even get away? Nismo's trying to chase. Throws the guiding light out, finds one. Ooh. Not 100% sure where the second one is. Corey trying to respond, but Nismo, good for the elimination, and Ghost absolutely punished here in the third. It's, it's ready to go. It, it's just this timing is going to have to be flawless from FaZe. They're going to go for it. Corey on the way through, and oh my goodness, the guiding light from Nismo. How big is that? Gives numbers now over to FaZe, but Zachary down to just 7 HP. Win trying to hold. Going to be able to, ooh, get an angle, but not quite lock down the shots. And the retake, good, and a lot of credit to Rockus for finding the opening, too, to even allow it to happen in the first place. Oh, yeah, Rockus get, getting that first kill was so big because they were able to basically get a freebie before they really even had to. And now it's just going to be Baby J trying to retake by himself. He just picks up an op. He wants to get out of here and say that you'd have to imagine, but knows that it's going to be tough to exit and indeed just as soon. They'll get that plant, and they have a very good 5 on 4 hold ahead of them. Baby Bay only with one knife needed to hit a miraculous shot. Not going to be allowed to. And Koala behind it finds the next two. Zach, what can you find? The answer, absolutely nothing. And finds one. Will be knifed back, though. So again, tree and garden both taken. Now onto Zach once more. He's been foiled in this position, but not this time. Finds two. Corey gets the third. Now it's just down to win, but he gets the right click off. Turns it into a 1v1. And plenty of time to collect the spike and still plant for free. Yeah, again, all that mid presence didn't really allow Rockus to rotate until just now. So it gives Win a chance to kind of settle into this 1v1. He's got the door covering. Gonna go ahead and plant the spike towards under heaven. Rockus blows the door up and trying to trick Win into knowing where he's coming from. Here it oh is. And oh, gee. <laughs> For FaZe, time also becoming a bit of an issue in Rockus. Does he have the correct lineup here? Going to start throwing some down. Gets a lot of damage, but Chase able to find one. But the paint shells come through, but the spike does get planted. Oh, if only just barely. Wins also able to convert with the Hunter's Fury, and FaZe now going to have to do this the hard way. 3v3, Win trying to lock down the back alley, and beyond that, the Shock Dark going to put a little bit of extra damage. Spam it on in, find oh a double, my. why not? One more, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, this is finally them coming up big. They have a 5 on 2. They have Spike down right there in front of them. There is really no way back in at this point. Win trying to just throw a Miracle Odin Spray out there, but... It's absolutely flawless, and another two kills tallied in favor of FaZe. Yeah, I, I really feel like the big flip of the switch here for FaZe has been the impact that this Astro Utility has had. It's not a song that I'm going to be subscribing to on Spotify, I'll tell you that much. Maybe they over in towards Boathouse, though, finds two, and then his maybe counterpart, Jay, able to find the third, and again, Ghost completely stuffed on the entry. Lockdown does get spent to force them further out, and now time is going to be a bit of a problem, plus the fact that they have to rotate through Corey, which is not going to happen. Just down the chase, 1v5. Spy cam will spook out that, yep, there are definitely people coming from behind. And FaZe are just really putting together a nice pistol here. Dole comes out, not going to make much of a difference. Baby Bay able to find one. Chase does respond over on the site itself. And Nismo, my goodness, how good has he been? Flashpoint going to come through, but they may have not actually fully seen Zach as of yet. But this recon bolt very well could give them the information that they need from the box play. Win for one, Chase the second, and Ghost retake to take their ninth win. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, 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 it. Wait, never mind, they saw them long enough. So well, now weapons for FaZe, and yes. they're only down three. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, good Hawk coming through. Koala's able to at least respond one for one, and there is still a lot more flashes that could potentially be used here, but Baby Bay just holds down the trigger, finds another double up, and then Baby J beyond that finds the next. Nismo, nowhere to go but down, and the Nova Pulse will also be spent just in case someone was pushing through the Nebula. Not going to happen, but Zach able to cross. Avoids most of the guiding light, finds two. Wants more than that, they're running.
and gun of the SMG comes to play. And Zach for three. Somehow battling through the guiding light, lining up three kills through the door. And that is so huge because you could tell that if he goes down with that guiding light, there was more flashes on the way. He's an angle from Corey, but not able to capitalize with it. It will be the pain cells to come out trying to provide a bit of damage, but those are already in. The good news is the recon will find so much in face of a koala. Gets two lined up on one another. 1v1. Corey down to low HP. Time to come a problem. And Corey, unbelievable. Would be the guiding light. Nismo. Chase is going to be tested. And go oh, tested, he will be. But maybe they misses the right click. Neural Death now earned. Oh, Chase is going to hold his ground. Finds one. Almost able to get more than that. Corey able to keep things level. And Showstopper will be called. Blindsley throws that to the backside of the defensive spawn while the spike gets planted. Kind of had to, right? Just to make sure he wasn't going to get run down and make sure that the spike is going to get planted. But now still a tough 2 on 3 hold here with Corey being so low on it's HP. It's going to be really tough to stop this. Oh, but the first shot of the operator does connect. Koala moving quickly. Corey misses the shot into Nismo and oh, Zachary oh had an my. angle but could not quite convert. And again, Nismo's heroics have been absolutely potent throughout this first map. Sure, but we also have to commend Chase. I mean, the fact that he. Indeed, they are hurt out there as well. They're trying to get in here through all this utility, but the stalling tactics are huge. It's allowing him to stay inside and get two on his way out. <gasps> oh, he got caught! Two players get caught. It's not just it's not just Koala. I believe it's, it's Ryan kind of as well mid map. Though. It's his fate. Planted. Now here comes the play. Player Corey dead. for one. Not going to get more than that. Rockus affected by the zero point. Holds his position. Sees the barrel of one. Finds it. Not going to get more beyond that. The guardian of Koala does end up coming to play, and it just felt a little tricky there for a moment. <laughs> Two players yeah, today looked like real, really I big don't know. I don't know for sure if that's if what that was Koala was looking to do. <laughs> No pun intended, a little bit accidental there, but it works out nonetheless. Five on two for Ghost. Look at the long play from behind here, Nisbo. Oh my God. Goodness. I'm telling you, this guy does not lose 1v1. <laughs> Man, it's... Guiding light sent over through tree. That is not where this retake is coming from. It's all going to come from top. But Zachary up. Oh, he actually misses the first elimination, possibly. Corey down low, able to deal with the recon bolt. Ghost starting to posture up top. Chase able to find one. It is going to still be a 2v2. Rock is holding this backside of the spike, and time is becoming a bit of a problem. Nobody can get through Corey down low, and a thrifty confirmed for phase. But again, the zero point comes through. Paranoia behind that's going to slow things down considerably. Koala for one. He just has to hold on. All possible. Just hold on. And how about it? He finds himself a second. Ghost now trying to come through tree. Are they even needed? Koala's found three so far. Corey by himself. And well, the Aldron will push him back into a corner. It may not necessarily see him. And actually, yes, it absolutely yeah, it does. does. So <laughs> Corey is completely done at this point in time. And Ghost will very likely put themselves up 12. I don't want to full send it because we've seen some incredible things happen. To find three more kills in five seconds would probably take the cake. Spike is here as well. Or has been shut. They can start coming up the lane together. Maybe Bay out top of the backers oh. this time. He lands. And they follow up with Corey. And they're breaking through. And they get the win. And they're still alive. Looking just for Hunter's Furies to connect. Chase able to sidestep. Maybe has an angle onto one here. Finds it pretty darn cleanly as well. But Zach able to come from behind. Yeah, here comes the call. This is going to be absolutely right. I don't even think that first opening shot guard did too much. But Bay just holds down the trigger. Let's find two. But Koala matches him in the same form. So 3v3 we go. Koala is down to just 10 HP though. So he's going to be hindered in this next battle. And Door gets shut on his play. Nova Pulse also comes down and actually did connect very nicely. Paint shells. Uh oh, that's not going to be good news. Koala falls. Corey also meets the same fate. And Nismo oh runs out of ammunition. Clean on the retake is phase outpacing through the middle of the map. And they find 13 first. That was such an amazing layering of utility from phase on that back of B site, bro. As soon as this dissipates, who's going to be quicker on the trigger? Corey will be. No problem there. And even beyond that, Zach mid-map does get punished. On to Ryan. Looking good for FaZe. 1v4 situation for Chase. Oh, man. For Ghost, I think the other four members are starting to scratch their heads and say, what went wrong? What could Chase save? Not going to happen. FaZe Clan respond in overtime after being down 1-8 to eight dust. Want to get overwhelmed. He's actually holding his ground, but you imagine... Oh, look at that. Great use uh. here from Ghost with the Paranoia to now double push out. They stalled it for a second, but oh, FaZe are reclaiming. Uh, but this is still going to be a full commitment for Ghost. Yeah, this is uh, ooh, not nearly as clean as they drew it up in the playbook. I mean, it did look good initially, but it's down just now to Ryan. An opportunity maybe to earn your making here. 
going to be challenged maybe very early through point of contact through this link. Zach up close and personal. Corey with him. Ryan waiting for a peek. Gets it, but it's Zach spamming down the frenzy. Finding four in the round in Phase Clan. Really fault line gravity well play, but Baby May <laughs> ready for it. No problem. No pulse also being spent. Baby May is going to find two. So another opening exchange favoring that of face. Ghost still not going to give this up, though. Looking to push even further forward as they can make a play from behind. And, well, it's not going to find much of anything, is it? Wind trying to do something. Finds one. Maybe an opportunity for a second. A little weapon swap, but fortunately not able to finesse Zack. That will be good for FaZe to take their second round just as quickly almost as they took the first. Baby base been heard. Bashing in. Ah, uh, Chase, though. Not expected to be sitting right in the middle of the site. Finds one opportunity for Zach not to capitalize. And then how about the wide peek from Baby J? Avoids the fragmentation. Ryan falls. And now a chance to plant. Koala wants to try to deny this. Goes around the corner. Not going to find the elimination. And Rock oh, just boy. picks up the kill. Finds themselves in the middle of the site with not a lot of information on these final two phase members. Yeah, that crossfire was so good. Even with the player going down, Baby wow. J able to capitalize with the fault line in retaliation to his player going down over by the pipe. Wind's still starting to put a lot of pressure over through B-Long, but no one is responsible for Hookah, so now these two defensive members for Ghost are completely caught off guard. And yeah, that's brilliant isolation Goodbye. from FaZe. Just hit different sides at the same time. No chance to retreat, recover, do much of anything. And so 5v3 retake now required from Ghost. Yeah, and with only some upgrade of pistols to spin in this retake situation, you're not really fancying their chances. And this is a, it's interesting, and it'd be a cool discussion to have here, is both teams are sacrificing something here, Shift. Mm -hmm. You know, FaZe are sacrificing a Sentinel, Ghost sacrificing a Sova. Those are, you know, purposeful decisions to tr in FaZe's case to have the Breach to help initiate sites to allow Baby Bay and Cory to follow up. Huka a couple times specifically. Over into bathrooms pretty darn quickly, and this time it's Aftershock paint shells. Oh my goodness, Cory, what have you done? Finds the quick kill, but Ghost actually retake and either forward through the middle of the map or specifically possibly just rotate through defensive spots. Yeah, so the drone's really cleared out for you, though. Absolutely. So know that. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. It, it, and again, it, it comes back into question as well. Why don't Ghost pick Breeze? Breeze, right. Yeah. They're six their and first one back, on the map. The yeah, exactly. But phase only one official result on Breeze so far. Again, unless there's something we don't know about them having like massive scrim bucks on Breeze. Have already gotten the spike planted. Now this zero point is actually really nicely found. It's gonna actually nullify a number of different players. But it's not gonna make a difference when the weapons can still fire like this. Baby J able to find three or two and a half if you want to call it that. Ryan's still knocked. And I don't think Wynn's gonna get into a position to recover him, so that will be the round and Harry just runs through, punch share frag anyway. They're starting to get some U-Haul control, but now Baby oh. Bay is going to do a little bit of a Goomba stop there on the ride. But what is this from Wynn? Weapon has been collected. 14 shots in the ammunition. Wynn still pushing. Recon Bolt going to give away his position. Rockus, is he going to have to check? Another toggle comes through. Win for the 1v1. Wants to go wide, but time is becoming a problem. Oh. And Rockus holds his ground. Phase are still tested here as they do try to commit for the plan and they won't get this down. So 3v5, Baby J. Oh man, almost a chance to line up a couple, but only walks away with one. Baby Bay, meanwhile, over towards the back side of bathroom, is not gonna find much of anything there. And it's just down to Zach. He does find one. Still has a cosmic divide to play with if he wants it. Second opportunity, he does see the shoulder, but Koala beats him to the punch, pulling the trigger. That will be Ghost on the board for the first time in the ninth round. And we'll get Nismo on the defuse. We can start building up his ult since Chase already has his. Baby J maybe considering how he wants to open things up, and it's going to be Hunter's Fury in combination with a Flashpoint. It's good for one elimination. Ryan able to trade on the opposite side of the map to keep things level at a 4v4. But again, this Ghost defense is all over the place. No central position really whatsoever, and Koala is forced to teleport away. Yeah, that's big. That allows FaZe to reinforce the site. And now Ryan's just stepping out there by himself in a 3-on-4 and just... be kind of like the one small highlight of what has been an absolutely dominant half from FaZe. Yeah. I mean, so look, I want to revisit this conversation we were kind of carrying on throughout the first map and even between our first and second, talking about the what are you giving up versus what are you gaining. Oh, okay. And well, this time phase showing numbers towards B. The spike is still down all the way back by mid. So, I mean, this is not going to result in initial plant, but the Rolling Thunder comes out. Or he's going to check his right. Sees one. Actually gets a respond in a second. Paint Shells comes through. Chase, though, still playing through the elbow. Actually does find one elimination. And Ryan able to collect a second. So, defensively, good stuff here from Ghost when it comes to the numbers. But the problem is they've rotated everyone off of A, and that's where the spike is heading. So, what's the call? How are we getting back in if you're Ghosts? Beyond that for phase. 
What are the tools trying to come through to hold? There's the Null coming out to play. Nismo up top at Heaven. In a delayed peak. Everyone else to the front, but again, goodness, the shots that come through with the gravity well, just absolutely perfect. Two players will fall. Ryan down, and then he'll likely be his, well, that's probably where he'll end up. This is going to be resolved in 1v1, and Baby Bay! And FaZe are looking destined for challengers, too. Something that they have not been able to do in so long as get to a challenge that they might be on the verge of doing it. He's an opening here, though. The blade's knocked out. Koala up top for one. Looking for a second. Finds it no problem. And still fully healthy. And then immediately thinking that, okay, this just could be the FaZe bait, as the Seekers are already clearing out, eh? So he uses the... Give yeah, it away. Sure. So that's one way. We of might as well just go out there and throw a hail mary. I'm Come on, saying. Man. Just go out there and throw a hail mary, man. Yeah. Why are you doing like this to us? Fourth down into the half. Throw Stop. It. Who cares? Let's go. What a troll. KD saver. Doesn't even. Yeah. You do better than that. I, I, you know, just give me a chance. I'll get there. Now. I know it. Knife comes through. The Rock is able to find one, but forced him to the reload. Qual up top. Ooh, not clean, but Qual still finds the kill. No problem. Zach on the teleporter. Not going to read that chase. Was still lurking mid-map, so... As Qual will take out Baby Bay, so everything going well so far here for Ghost. Corey dodging the paint shells, but still in a lot of trouble. Yeah, flash paranoia. Oh, boy. Yeah, lots of trouble indeed, I think, is the easy way to set that up. Spike will be planted, and Ruckus on a shorty. Yeah, they don't have the Silva drone and the recon vault to get the intel. The knife can give you a little bit. The trailblazer can give you a little bit. So you still have some ways to kind of cover that up. There you go. Main shells from Corey did get a lot of damage over the hookah. Holds the corner. Oh, gonna find one. Tries to hold on the trigger. Baby J also a part of this though. Finds the second and third elimination. Just up to Ryan now. And this is dangerous because you're gonna get trapped up by the gravity well. Yeah, he's got absolutely nowhere to go. So, I mean, we're now you are going to get the null into play. Zach trying to hold on to the site, but goes very clean on the initiation. Find the first three, and that will lead to an immediate spike plan. Yeah, really good use of utility there. You know, making the most out of the null commands on top of all the initiator utility that they have in play. Smokes down on heaven. You know, just all your basics, and then you have that additional utility power. They're still well behind on the scoreboard. It's a start, though. It's a start. It is a start, and it's a, it's a clean round as well. So, you know... Paranoia also coming to the mix. Counter Flash Point also being used. Baby J able to find one. He's holding his position. Maybe an opportunity for more, but has to deal with the Boombot. Good patience from Ghost to let the Boombot be the fifth member in that attack. And then beyond that, Paint Shell is again putting a lot of damage in. So Phaser still fighting this back. Finds one, does Corey. Comfort reacquired. So it is just Corey, 1v3. And looks like he just wants to play for kills. He's heard footsteps outside B long. Yep, there's the one. Almost a second goodness. That would have been... <laughs> but once you're discovered in that corner, you know how much utility is available to crush you. I mean, the paint shells, the fragment, like, I'm just, I'm really shocked he didn't leave. And well, the operator has been taken off the table for now. Baby J looks like he does want to try to salvage this. Koala does bait out the shrouded step. Weapon gets picked up. Koala peeky. This one has to keep making sure that they're not going to the attack. They're going to go ahead and hold their way into heaven. Drop the KO and all. Yeah. Back up in the corner. Oh, maybe just missed out on a couple of different opportunities to line up few. Baby J able to knock down Ryan for now. Fault line coming out. Baby Bay, rare miss coming out. It's actually not just a fault line. It is a full on rolling thunder and Nismo from mid map. Never checked twice. Comes away with three. So Ryan will recover. He'll be brought back. And now it's just down to Rockus trying to play this from heaven an opportunity to get a little bit of damage, but it feels like the chances for FaZe's Thrifty were missed over initially towards the Shower's play. Rockets will find one with the Shock Dart, but this will still be a very difficult 1v2, which is 38 health. One enemy remaining. Let's get one more, though. Hold on a second. Oh, my goodness. The read on the Nismo is also pretty darn good, but... Oh, but how about this? Corey has snuck past the zero point, was not targeted by it, and old reads Nismo saying, you're not going to pull... 4v2 situation, and the Aftershock team is going to push them out into Zachary's line of sight again for another. Just up the Koala. Going to get tested for multiple angles. Does find one clearance over through the back. Inside that hookah position, but also give credit to Zachary being that A-side anchor that was left behind, getting his kill onto Chase. Baby Bay has been found out. 
Yeah, that's the big thing is that there is now information here. But the problem is, is there even going to be time for a ghost to rotate? You apparently, you don't even need to. Nismo finds two. On to Rockus to try to hold from the backside of Elbow. Does win the 1v1 versus Nismo. Dark Dart still in play. Comes out. Not going to find too much. Baby J on the rotation. Already make his way through. Aftershock will clear out. Who's now playing from on top of the site, but looks like everything will come to an unclimactic finish as both teams will just back away. Yeah, it's one of those situations where Ghosts were happy with an even trade there on A. Yeah, sure, getting both the kills on A would have been massive, but getting the a trade is... Is a shorty in hand. I does check it, though, does exactly Chase. Way. So there's the kill. Neural Theft earned. You're going to get to read that. Yep, the last two members for FaZe are going to try to split this retake, one from the back, one from the front. And, well, with that information, you feel pretty hard-pressed here if your FaZe would do much of anything. Maybe you could find an elimination or two to try to punish, but again, I mean, the economy for Ghost over this last couple of rounds has just been so potent that even if you do find a kill or two, it's really going to be pretty insignificant. Yeah. And I feel like an adjustment just has before. to get made. I thought they got to pull the yeah. reins back on Baby Bay a little bit here. Like, all these aggressive plays he's tried to make work have just absolutely right flopped, and it just puts his team in a very early 4 and 5 situation that they just aren't really able to recover from unless someone makes like a big individual play. But FaZe are making a little bit of progress, but they need to work quicker, oh. and indeed they are making it happen, but that's a big out shot from Koala that might just do it. 1v1 opportunity, Koala goes to the Sheriff. The time's not going to be favorable for this. Takes the peak, Baby Bay, no chance to defuse, and Ghost able to hang on. And beyond oh, that, Baby also falls. Well, he's not going to get the opportunity to. He's going to have it, oh, or will he? Just lets it lay loose. I don't know what information was there. Pinchos also comes into play. Corey finds the second. Baby J wants the challenge, finds the third. Ryan was only good for the initial trade. It's a 4v2. Baby Bay mid map. He's quick to rotate. And now it's all down to win. Who gets affected by the rolling thunder and FaZe Clan say no need for overtime this time. 13-11 the tally. And FaZe Clan take the 2-0 versus Ghost Gaming.